pressing their contribution. Yo, no way! <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to episode 2 of Alone in the Dark. I actually do go on to finish the game in this one. I thought I might have had to split it up to a couple more episodes, but it ended up being about a four hours of gameplay. Edited it down to, I don't know, what does it come out to? Like two and a half hours or something like that. So, uh, enjoy. I could do something. Ooh, what is this? The Blessing. A rustic plate adorned with lost allegory. Okay. What's this? Good question, Dave. I mean, <laughs> holy Christ, I didn't mean to do that at all. Uh, yeah. Go right there. Uh, rotate. There we go. I'm imagining it's gotta be up. Yeah. Got it. Is that a sledgehammer? Uh, have you... Okay. Shotgun out. What? Wait. Not fighting that. Are you not dead? You're not dead. I thought he would have died right there. Okay, load up. That dude was no joke. It's nice that they they uh they throw in different enemy types instead of just fighting the same zombie guy over and over again. Jeremy sketched this chapter in his book, so it must be important. All right, looks like looks we're like gonna I'll need, need more medallions to open it, though. Thank you, David. I need three more medall or three total medallions. Two two more. Let's head this way. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. I can't tell if there's a guy, I hear him right here, but I don't think he's there. Oh, he is. <gasps> that was bad. Okay, okay. Get those dudes taken care of. I think there's just a one more guy up here. I know you could sneak around them. It's just it doesn't feel as satisfying as in... I really do like stealth games. But it just doesn't feel quite the same as in uh, other stealth games. You know. The fact that he crouches. Like this. I just... <laughs> it, it really takes it out for me. Why is your back so straight? Okay, there's two guys. Uh, do you have anything for me? No. Hold. There you go. Is he dead? I guess not. The other one hear me? I mean, he fucking should have. That guy right there. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's nice. Turn that corner. Peek me. He's on the left, I know. Clean, clean couple kills there. Oh, chill with the sounds. Give me those. Am I loaded up? Hold on. I loaded up and everything? Yep. Okay. I... 
Might as well. Pause. You're in here. Yeah, there's a guy in there. Rockin' shells, there we go, perfect. Okay, yeah, we can head down there. Uh, let me go check these little buildings here first before I head. Oh, it looks like we can head down in all of them, huh? Okay, let's go in this one. Flashlight on. Ooh. They cut the music real quick. There's another medallion right there. I don't know if they can see the flashlight, but I have taken that into consideration. Okay, so we got another plate, which leads me to think, do I even have to go down here? I mean, obviously, I'm going to. Yo. Good job. Swap that out real quick. Okay. Our way up. Shotgun shells. I'm full on health, but I know I need some, so let's hit that real quick. The spookiness factors are ramping up in this game. More, more bullets. Oh, well, let's let's relax here. that not not fantastically <laughs> but hey we got him we got him that's all I could ask for what's going on all right oh. whoa what Okay, so I need two medallions to get in here, which, how convenient. I only have two. Uh, I'm gonna make them touch each other. I'm gonna make them touch each other. And then swap. Place medallion. And select. Nope. Place. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Is there... That can't be right. Maybe it just has to be the other way around. Huh. Hmm. Ah, I see. Hold on. Do I see? There we go. I see you. I see you. Had to line up the uh, the borders. I see it. Holy shit! It's like that. Uh, isn't there something like this in uh, France where they have like the, uh, the 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 tombs underground? I don't know. It might not be France, but let's head down this way. Shotgun shells, perfect. More shotgun shells. There, something's coming. 
They just gave me six shotgun shells. Something is coming. I fucking know you're right there. What did I say? What did I say? I can't move. Hold on. I can't. I, there's no way I can't go. I can't go anywhere. No way. No way. Not sure if they want. I couldn't move past this point last time I tried, so I'm not sure if you're supposed to go. Too many of them. I gotta get out. Oh, now you give me that cue. Oh my god, I can't move. There we go. I don't even know what direction I'm going. Oh my god. My... My personal... In, like, impulse when I'm flooded with enemies is to fall back, not to run through, and he wouldn't give me the cue to keep running unless I went against my impulses. There we go. Sacrifice. Key item. Rustic plate adorned with lost allegory. I guess, sure. I tried so many iterations of that. Hmm. What the hell? She's fresh. She's a fresh one. You don't look very dead, if we're being honest. Please don't touch her. Who the fuck? Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Dorsetto. Okay. Why would she? I was Dorsetto. saying it was so much more accent. I'll keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made, I made a terrible promise with someone. The Dark Man. Who is he? No, 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 don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. Uh, Jeremy. Is he in the I corner? I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. The sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. Then what's all the business about Tarawea? Why did you want to go there? Well, I can't go there. I'm not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should Look I- Look out! Behind you! Run! Don't let it take you! Is that a knight? Oh good, I'm dead. Oh, what the hell? Now it just looks like we were creeping on this woman. Is she dead? No, right? Wait. I've seen so many st strange occurrences. Are the memories explode into existence and then burn out like tired glass bulb filaments? Dreamscape. <clears throat> 
excuse me, dreamscapes crash down the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there is a chance that you found a way to remain alive. In some way, I cannot fathom, just like I have learned to navigate with my talisman. Maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way, a way to find me again. Perhaps in Tarawea. All my love, Jeremy. Key item, luggage key. Luggage. Oh, there's that suitcase in one of the bedrooms. She's dead. dead. No Wasn't I just talking to this girl, like, not long ago? Okay, whatever. Right here. Yes. Barlow lens. Barlow lens, that's for the, um... Telescope lens. The telescope, yeah. Somebody locked that up. The telescope, and I think that's in the library. So let's head that way. Actually, is it right here? I believe it's in here. Yes. Next. Mouse. What? What button is that? I have to make those ones down there. There we go. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, Whoa. we're blinded. What did that do f for us? What the hell? What's up, guys? Um, okay. What's this? <gasps> oh, no. Okay, it might be easy enough. There we go. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. 947, whatever that means. Could be with that talisman. Yeah. Oh, he's doing it on his own. Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own <gasps> and it's showing the way to another. A bouquet. Mission. Where is that? Whoa, nudity. So we're back in the original room. It was a table with flowers. So is that the dining room? Right here. Okay. Here we so go. here we go. Like you said, but what? Right here. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Chapter three. Well done. Well done. Who in the hell? Wait, we've talked to him one previous. No, no, we haven't. I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts, but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Jeremy never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Jeremy once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy... Why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. 
he can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their Seto and Yermi's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Hmm. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> I, yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. Freud? There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The dark man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. Alright, look for answers inside the Great Library of Tarawea. So I'm just at... This is just Tarawea now. This place they've been talking about. Which, by the way... The ray tracing is... Beautiful. Okay. Can I enter? I don't think I can go into all these doors. I think it's just this one. Okay. Let's just pull my guns in Tarawea. Look for answers inside Tarawea. Okay. Oh. I guess we'll drop down. Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba -da. <laughs> that Indiana Jones thing going on. Oh, that's sick. This whole space is cool. Oh man. Uh. Okay. There's something missing. Okay. I need something cross-shaped. These dudes are not gonna attack me, right? God. Can I crawl in here? I can. But hold on. Aha. Key of Hubertus. After the suspended room was built, its key was given to the convent the convent librarian Hubertus to keep Jeremy's darkest secrets safe from prowling eyes. Oh! Hello! Oh, what the fuck? He made him kill himself! Oh! No way! I don't know if I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It feels like it, though. Oh no! Wait, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Yo, this is crazy. I just evade this guy or what? There's one right in here.
Yo, what do I do? What do I do? I need him to come out. Go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This dude is wild. It's so loud, too. I'll tone it down in the edit, but good lord. I don't even understand what's happening right now. Yes, let me through. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Is that over? Homie made me kill myself? That's crazy. He, like, controls your brain. Your mind, I mean. That's... He, that's wild. Or maybe just your muscles? I guess you can make someone kill themselves by just controlling their muscles. But that was wild. There is something. Uh... It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Yo, no way! Oh? <laughs> Detective! Juan! Juan! I hope you found what you were looking for. I fear there is no one. That dude's crazy. I was so close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Garby, think! Think! Shipping company. Prext. Right. Good luck, detective. <laughs> well, thank God you're here, detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. How? Hey. You have Luke. this in your house? <laughs> Don't pretend a you bar and stage? I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, detective. I suppose we weren't formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon. Miss Ruth Talon. In case you're wondering. Edward Carnby. Enchanté. Give this man a drink, right? Thank you. Are you sure? I had too many already. Nice. It's good. I know. I have great taste, detective. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the dark man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No. But it makes How do you, you know about that? If he made a promise, can't he simply stand by his words? Depends on the promise, now doesn't it? Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Well, if all fails... What are you doing? <laughs> it's a sign of submission to the dark man. I saw it in a dream once. What? That was a weird thing to say. Yeah. Wait, homie's getting paid one hundred and fifty dollars for all this. You don't know I don't care what year it is, but right. Jesus. I do. They made big money during the war. But their waterfront office is just over there. What the fuck? How did you do that? Do what, detective? <laughs> Bonne chance. What in hey, the... Have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? 
Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? <laughs> no, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. See you later, baby girl. Why are you walking like that? Okay. What in the Peaky Blinders is going on right now? Look for the... Okay. Look for the address of the Dark Man's show. Prex is show inside Prex Shipping Company. According to the book in Tarawea, the Dark Man is oh, what the hell? performance that Jeremy went to somewhere in New Orleans. Give me a machine sure gun. I can find the address inside. Where's this dude go? Explore the docks to find a way inside the warehouse. Found it. It's a door. It's locked from the other side. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I would have ever thought it was anything else. Wait, what? Where'd that guy just come from? I'm all out of bullets. Ah, think again. All right, let's go this way. Got more health. Nice. Always need. Uh, it looks like either way is gonna be the same. What is this? No, I don't okay. want. I guess that's fine. Some debris. I know it's debris. Yeah, I knew that that would last long, given that it was debris. Machine gun cartridge. That is good news. What did I say, like, two seconds ago? Give me a machine gun. Here we go. Not even a moment did I stress. Not even one. Not even one moment. Oh. Typewriter ribbon. I think that was just one of the collectibles. I don't think I'm actually doing anything with a typewriter. I'm not becoming a secretary. Not right now. Shotgun. Oh, there's bulls right there. Can't miss any. Full on shells. Ten is full. Really. I need the key. I need the key for the crane. Okay, so that's gonna be out that way. This game has become not... I don't really know what I expected. I never saw... I never... I know there's an original a game, I think. I never experienced it, so I, I had no idea what to expect, and this is not what I had expected. Drop into this shed right here. <coughs> Can I interact with this? No. Key. Uh, Stevadori's key. I don't know if that's for the crane. I would imagine. down bud that's a that's 10 bullets that's it wow that's wild the 10 10 shells for the shotgun is max is this for right here it is yo 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 Hold up. Who just woke up? Oh, right here. Uh-oh. I wasn't sure if that would work, but it did. I am so slick, it's insane. I don't need to encounter. I don't need to fight you. Stop taking fights.
Flashlight on. That's actually not doing anything at all. Ooh, I can't wait to encounter swamp creatures. What's going on in here? Oh. There is a set of pipe. Uh, I have no need to fight you, so I'm not going to. What in the fuck? Was that a spider? If that's a spider, I'm, I'm not playing this game anymore. Oh. Yeah, a flashlight does nothing. Inside the shipping company. All right. They are Maybe not shorting me on shotgun shells. The office must be upstairs. The guy right around there. Trumpet. Okay, thank God. I was like, why would I ever play a trumpet? Not to knock anyone that plays a trumpet, but obviously my situation is not <laughs> too optimal for the time to play a trumpet. Sure, fire poker. I know you're in there, but... Unless I'm hearing him underground, maybe? Yeah, let's get loaded up. Machine gun cartridges. Stop teasing me. Oh. Hey, I always wanted to try one of these. Nice. Tommy gun, where's the drum on that bitch? Full 60 rounds. Come on, game. What's this? Nothing. Obviously the safe, but I'm not going to know the... Situation for it. Uh. Ah. Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by the ones who live in the deep. All items have been signed and delivered. Now best to keep the paper safe. What is left later is right, and hell is back. So left, right, left, right, left. Uh. Four, five, four. What is left? Four. Five, four. Aha! Okay. Cargo manifest. manifesto. Delivered to the Black Pharaoh. Galatine Street 13. Black shipping company to That's the part that we need. Steamer trunks. Here we go. The address where Jeremy first encountered the Dark Man. That one bullet. So where do I go now, though? I was gonna say, something's about to bust down, right? That's why they had all these Molotovs laying around. Alright. 
I thought for a second they had the Molotovs laying around for, like, me to burn the place down because there's no enemies. Now I'm trying to find the address, right? Now I have the address. I'm trying to find it. The fog bank is lifted. The address you're looking for is just down the street. Well, okay. What the hell? The Black Pharaoh. Dark man. I guess that's still, that still that kind of fits. Uh, was this building nine stories when I went, when I entered it? Ooh. Is this Jeremy? You want to tell me what this is all about? Welcome, detective. To the greatest show this side of the Mississippi. Now the hotel, the Black Pharaoh, the ancient magician who lived a thousand lives and wore a thousand masks. I can see why you settled on calling him the Dark Man. Saves your breath. So you got scared by a stage magician, and now he's living inside your head. You can mock me, detective. You would be the crazy one to think his presence. Dog, he did try. You, he successfully made you kill Look yourself where we are. one time, so. We didn't get to finish our last conversation, did we? You were about to tell me how to break the contract with the Dark Man. No, I can't. We were trying to loose on the world. So many innocent would die. But there is a way to break out of the deal. There is. You offered me a way out. Steps to take. What are they? You'll never find them. They're forever entombed in his sunken desert temple. Jeremy, I'm not your enemy. Tell me where to go. How do I find the temple? No, we can't! I have to make this sacrifice! God damn it, Jeremy! I'm gonna save you! Don't worry! Quite the grunt there, David. How do you save someone who doesn't want to be saved? Well, he's gonna get saved no matter what. I just need to find the temple somehow. Uh... What is that? It has shapes on it, yes. Uh... M and then the... I don't know what that is. Oh, wait, what? Oh, 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 hold on. Okay, so we got... Okay, I get it, I get it. We got... Let's try that. Two. Five. Eight. Got it. Ooh, I'm good. Is that he's baking a dinner? Thought someone would be behind me. What did I do? Oh. Uh, no thank you. This is $150, remember. You're doing this for $150. I make more than that in a day at work. And you're doing all this. Find a way inside the sunken temple. Okay. Uh... Would this not be the sunken temple? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Drop down the blood covered <clears throat> edge. This is fucking wild, dude. This is where boss fights happen. Right here. The sunken desert temple. 
I better get down there. Uh. Yeah, I guess. Rope. Anchor. Oh, there's a camp down here. Okay. Rope. Yep. The temple of Nephron Car lies. Despite all efforts, that unholy site did not collapse, but sink beneath the sand. The pharaoh was long dead, his name meticulously stricken from all ancient writing, but that stage meant for blood and terror remains. The temple is said to be lightless, built to harbor all the haunters of the dark found in the very depths of our universe. Calling on the gods meant creating a bridge between our world and theirs. The terrible Aldebaran of Taurus, the Black Sun, was seen as the most important star in the night sky, because according to the Kitab of al -Azif, it was said to be the home of the crawling chaos known as Yep. Throughout ancient mechanisms, it was said that the priest could open shafts channeling the light emitted by the strange stone called the Shining Trephaz... Trapez... Trapezohedron? Is that what it is? Several... Several streams pulled together above the statue of that dark man would then be sent through space towards the Black Sun. A message to the gods. The gifts bestowed on the sender are completely undocumented, but often assumed to involve dark blood packs where souls are traded for malicious miracles. Open shafts channeling the light... And then pull streams together towards the black sun, as I guess what is trying to. One cartridge? As in, you gave me one machine gun round? Thanks, guys. Uh. Do I fight you? No? Okay. Anchor. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Ooh, that's shaped like that, uh, that thing I built. The, uh, stars. A table. Oh, this fucking guy. Use the old temple mechanisms to reveal... That's a star constellation from one of Jeremy's books. The Taurus. And one star's clearly. I got a feeling this is it. This is where the contract is hidden. But how do I get to it? Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's let's hang on for a second. Yeah, yeah. Okay, chill out, everyone. Let's relax. Guess we're heading in here. Bullets, please. Thank you. One shell. You're too kind. Oh. Ah. Yes, under the collapsed pillar we go. Uh. Hmm. There's something missing. The lever there, but there's something I gotta do to aim it, maybe? Or is it just simply. Okay, I thought so. Uh Okay, Same I could operation. actually aim him. Okay. Good work. My lens back. No. Hmm. Ah, I don't have the lens. This is the only one that's Hold on. It worked. Yeah, yeah, I think that I need to get them all... ...opened and go in and probably each room's gonna have a different lens in it. 
A little bit of thinking outside the box. We are no longer within the box. Not us. Get out of here. Do it. Go ahead. Oh, you already did it. He already did it. Fucker. There is a beam right... Th or a rock, at least, right there. Uh... What in the world is going on here? Okay, the star. Okay. I just like walking around with the shotgun. It just feels better. Oh nice, that's to the main room. Okay, wait. So I could... Maybe you mm. have to go... Ah, see this right here. Alright, this is the star one. In which... Jesus! Cool. God, they're loud. Now I can head through this door and find whatever lens is broken. Okay. Hold on, I can't move. Hold your horses, bud. It is very annoying that I can't sprint while... Ooh. Okay. Running low on the munitions. The health going. We have a long staircase up or a staircase down. I'm gonna go up the up one. Which just gives me a shortcut to the top. Nice. Okay. Oh, there you go. Big shock and kill drop. Uh, yes. It's going to be through there, but I can't see what it is yet. I have to go down here. Yeah, yeah. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. There we go. The underworld. Okay. We got one more lens. Huh. What happened? I see, I see. Mm hmm Now I can go to the his head. Yes, sir. Yep. Can I get a shorter way down? You just collapse. Nope. Okay. 
Oh. Looks as though we're stuck here, David. This is it. Go, go, go. There's bats out about. Get off me, dude. It's so hard to see them. There we go. Oh. My, un my overhand swings are not hitting him. He's ready to collapse. Yeah, I've gotten that. I've gathered that. More ammo bad. My ammo situation is bleak. Oh, What's it collapsed. Chill, chill, yo. Got something to say? Oh, okay. It's in a tin container? This thing inside of a sunken temple is in a tin container. Ooh, that's what we used to kill him. Maybe, I don't know. It feels like what it would be. Acknowledge psychological trauma, break through barriers of self-deceit, tempermanic behavior. These are the dark man's terms. The contract. Huh? David's dead. Later, man. Chapter four. Ooh. David, another drunken night, really. Hey. Hey, detective. What are you doing? Oh, I found something. Great. Was it alcohol? God, no. I just got the wind knocked out of me. I think I know how to break the contract with the Dark Man. What exactly does that mean? Everything going back to normal. Uh, all right. Uh, I found some more information on Dorsetto and the patients. There are some seriously strange things going on here. I'm pretty sure two of the patients are dead and maybe even the clerk. Oh, yeah. She's out here I'm doing normal detective shit. Well, just keep your eyes open, I suppose. What were you doing again? Jeremy made a pact with the Dark Man to keep all the madness locked inside Dorsetto. All right. I'm gonna break it. I just have to... Where is it? Where's the talisman? It's around your neck. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I worry, detective. Don't. I'm fine. He's... I worry that you're not much help on this case. But at least you're a good distraction. Trust me. You're getting your money's worth. At this rate, I'm an absolute bargain. <laughs> I'm out here killing zombies for you, dog. What the hell? Uh, oh, pages. Acknowledge psychological trauma, break through barriers of self-deceit, temper, manic behavior. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the heartwood curse. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet doing so would be the doom of Dracetto. Let this curse of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands. Oh, crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. 
Huh. Break into Dr. Gray's office and find out what he knows. You got it, bud. <sighs> got to be around here somewhere. He wouldn't leave this house. I don't know what to think anymore. You run into that dick fella. Who is he? Can he be trusted? I think he wanted a good guy. Well, you know, like us. Will he be all right with her coming? Praise the mother. What the? You don't even know about all that. She having a stroke? Just calm down. It ain't time yet. God, it hurts. As far as I can tell, the tech to calm seems to be solving problems, not causing. Well, thank Just you, sir. Ready in case he starts anything. Objective. You gotta come up. Nope. The two orderlies. Oh. Doctor Gray's office. Cut. What do you mean it's locked? Oh, wrong one. <laughs> but since they're here, I was gonna say, what the hell was that? But since they're here, I'm not really in. I'm in that dimension with all the zombies and whatnot it's because blocked. what the hell do you mean it's blocked this is where i was headed this door right here yeah why can't i just move that stuff it's a the hell open up the safe inside the clerk's office i don't have a combination for this Maybe Jeremy did. The hell does that mean? Detective Combi, I'm terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. Please, with all my blessings, take her away from this cursed place. I've destroyed that eater of worlds and locked it away in the attic. I retreated to a place of hiding. Tell Emily I'm safe and tell her all the lies you can think of to go to make her listen. Take her back to New Orleans. The attic, he says. Ha, the attic. I think is that creepy room or the room it wouldn't let me in atop the stairwell. Oh. Detective Conby. Good to see you again. Solved your case yet? I'm trying. Hey, Grace, you okay? Oh, she is just peachy, Detective. Are you looking forward to the Feast of St. John, Grace? I can't wait. Kids, ain't they great? What exactly are you planning for tonight? Oh, not much. We eat, we drink. Pay tribute to the wishing tree in the conservatory. The usual. Then why all the excitement? There is just something about tonight. Something that's different. I think we all feel it. Besides, we got ourselves some new words for the prayer thanks to your buddy Jeremy. Ooh. She'll come and turn the world inside <clears throat> out. And things will begin again. That sounds strangely threatening. You should come. Oh, God damn it, Grace. Stay put for once. Drunk as hell. We dropped a key. I see you. This is the key to first floor hall key. First floor. Better hold on to these. Wouldn't want them to get lost. First floor hall key. Obviously first floor. What do you mean? What? 
Ah, it's this one right here. Gotcha. Ooh. Hello? No, no. He's gonna make you kill yourself. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be right there. Hold on. Surprising to me. Maybe I've been selling that old bar. No, for I'll, short. I'll be right there. Don't worry. Moment of Sometimes. clarity. I think this place makes me worse. That Dersetto might be my grave. A coffin made of ostenta ostentatious architecture. A Taj Mahal for the drunk and depressed. There's something about Dersetto, something about Dr. Gray, like we all pretend that we are here to get better, when in fact we are here to be forgotten. Yikes. Look like anything in there. Oh. Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. Oh, I need like a screwdriver? I think that that would be the case. So I need to remember a screwdriver for the vent. Yeah, hold on, Dark Man. I'm exploring. Nothing. I've already been into these rooms, but I don't think this camera was here before, which is not a good sign. Or have I been in these rooms? Maybe not. Hello. Read the writing on the wall. This is my room. I belong here. Wait, like literally your room? I can't... You should come. I know you should I'm come. Not. I can't Where's believe I didn't recognize you. I did this. Is any of this real? I wrote that. Pound one night six XXX. And then I think that's just my name, right? I know the combination. I carry it with me. Oh, oh, one nine six. Okay, one nine six. One nine six six. One nine six six nine two. That's so many. Six. Nine. Two. Mmm. Got you. Uh. An old coin from the time when Louisiana was a Spanish colony. Look for the girl. Detective. Here we go. Detective, I've made many discoveries in my case. The child we've won is safe, thanks to good people like me and you. We're so similar, but you don't see all the things I do. To find your man, Jeremy, you also need to look for the girl. It's always been that way. To young delivers us all. You should have a lock in my room. There's a piece of the puzzle you will need. Take care now. McCarthy. Find the missing drawing inside McCarthy's room. I've been here? McCarthy's room. Right here. Just right down the hall. In the vent. Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. Yes, I guess you could do it that way, sure. Piece your memory back to what the hell is that? What the fuck? Why would McCarthy lock this up? Was he trying to keep Grace from completing the shame? If so, couldn't she have just made another drawing? I guess not. Whoa. Here we go. What the hell happened in here? You know what happened, bud. Good God. There's just bats pinned to the wall. I can barely see that, dude. There's another one. Insane. Let me get out of here. Oh, 
That room is awful. So, are we back to normal or what? Oh, Grace's room. Yep, this makes sense. Uh. What? The hell does that mean? <laughs> Jeremy that was the guest in room number three. The room seemed to have been empty for so long, but that wasn't allowed to be true. I said in the beginning the room number three would be something like this. The story needed to be different to include something from the outside. He would bring the guests back to room three and show them what was in that safe. 913. But those were not the right numbers. That was a combination of the safe and the clerk's office. 913. Okay. It worked. Got it. Key, Dr. Gray's office. Ooh, we are moving along here. The last guest in the Dear room suffered from severe maladaptation. I must write this down because if I understand the conditions sufficiently, it would make me deny this fact at a later date. And the reason for me to think that if I may come to suffer the consequences from this dysfunction, as some who came in contact with the guest seem to adopt a new worldview in which everything was predetermined but broken. Upon accepting the worldview, some memories have become unmanageable and later rejected. I do not know what this means. I cannot even remember the fate of the guest. I think they were simply misplaced one day and forgotten. Just like all the documents pertaining to this guest, they would have all been destroyed or they never existed in the first place. Who wrote this? There's never been a guest in the empty room. It was me. I was the guest. Get in here. What's up, Doc? Dr. Gray's office, all to myself. Oh, never mind. Let's see if we can figure this guy out. There is a key right here. The stairwell key, so to get down the stairwell. Jeremy's treatment. Ooh, that's a lot. X-rays, it was surprising to get good dark blotches on the plates. So the stairwell key, why would I... Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. What the fuck? Stairwell key. So, stairwell... We're in, like, the hospital area. Yes. Just what I needed. Oh! I need the key. Yeah, I guess, but this guy's screaming. There's something above me. Radiography. Patient Jeremy Hot. A complete picture of the brain can be assembled by piecing three plates together. Even when looking at an assembled version, a shadow covers significant parts of Jeremy's brain. Possible tumor. Hypothetical. Hypothetical psychosurgery based on the ideas of Burkhart and the St. Petersburg research can end up saving Jeremy's life. Severing the connections around the frontal lobe would certainly solve most mental afflictions. Lobotomy. The procedure would be brutal in performance as well as efficiency. An ice pick pushed through the edge of the eye and into the skull would untether the nerves like Alexander cutting the Gordian knot. Oh, such a terrible thing that people used to do. As this would likely leave Jeremy in a very different condition, all of the past should first be explored. Key. Uh, surgery room. And then this is... Right, he said I need three pictures. Uh, circuit box. Use. This is not what I need here. Oh, it is, but I need another one. Surgery room. Oh, man. Right here? Okay, right here. Oh, no. Please stop. There's a few. Oh, there's a fuse. Oh, okay. Don't mind if I do. Uh, yeah. Oh, dude. 
lobotomies are the worst thing. Like, I can't believe that we even were like, yeah, this is what we do. <laughs> like, as a species, we're just like, yep, this is right. Well, I don't know. Am I supposed to get all of them on, or... I am. Oh, you fucker. There we go. That's better. It is better, thank you. Okay, so I need more to that. Okay, another image. Partial picture of a brain grind by unsettled darkness. His tumor, as they say. Mm. I need the key. You do need the key. Let's try. Oh man. There we go. What the hell? What what the fuck is that? His What is this? His testicles? A broken piece of burnt clay its size suggests as being part of a statue. Of his testicles. It's not a key, so Can I leave? Oh, I can. No. Why does this keep happening? What am I supposed to do? Uh run, I guess. Oh, it's flooding. Oh, it's actually flooding. Oh no. Uh I'm panicking? I can't go anywhere. The boat's gonna move. No? Okay. Get out. No way. Go up, go up. No, 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 no. Perfect. Just right. Oh. And we're back here. Well, perfect time to have a look around this place. All right, so we're we're in the attic, which there's a noose, as you know, sometimes there is. It says E, but I can't do anything with it. Tessellated shard. Okay. Jeremy Hartwood. J.H. Oh boy. Rocks. Uh... I don't know. The hell is that? I don't. What? Oh. Four six one. Maybe.
Is that what I did? Like, didn't I do that? Did I not? And I'm dumb. Noose. Great. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for the advice. See, you're really, you're really keying in on helping me here. Oh. Uh. What? What's going on? Uh... I can't neck myself, it won't let me. Right here. Holy shit. What's this? This is where Jeremy's hiding, right? Hello? Is anyone there? Jeremy? I need help! Wait! Can you hear me? I'm stuck in the mud and the fire is taking Jeremy, me! Where are you? The motor is dead! I can't do anything more! Hang on, Jeremy. I'll figure something out. I'll get the boat running. This is like the, uh, the steamboat we caught for a moment as, as one of the rooms changed, like, not long ago. Alright. Uh, obviously not that way. You're here. Right. What am I doing on ammo? The... Not great. But, we'll make do. <clears throat> Is it on fire? What's that sound? Oh. Frames. There are moments where I feel like stuff's loading in that I get little frame drops, but... Nothing, it's for just like a second. Oh my. Yo, let me shoot that right now. What the fuck? No, oh, shoot it immediately. Uh. What the spider? Give me more bullets immediately. What are we talking about? Okay, right here. That's what's around here? Spider creatures? That's not okay. The boat's wedged itself right into the, the bayou. The boat has wedged itself. If I get the motor started, so... I could try reversing back into the river. What the fuck? Are you a steamboat captain now? What's going on right here? What is this? Oh. Okay, give me two seconds. Hold on. Let me take a look, see what's going on right here. Just death. Alright. Uh, okay. Open doors, open doors. Nice. I thought they were gonna be locked, but open. Briefcase. Uh, oh, okay, so we're on the other side. That was broken. Gotcha. Looks pretty weak. I just need something to break it. Mm. Like that, huh? Yeah. Going down. Oh, how nice of it to be red and, and to illustrate that I need to drop down here. What? Is there a ladder? Oh. Why is it making metallic sounds? Isn't that wood? Mm. Guys. This is wood. Fix that. It's not a ladder. It's operating as a ladder, but it's wood. I can't see anything. Ah, remember the flashlight. Here we go. Okay. This definitely needs fuel. Fuel. Okay, so we'll be on the lookout for fuel. Nothing in there. Why would there be? Empty gas can. Empty doesn't do me any good. Turn the steam off. Alright. Steam hurts, guys. Don't walk through steam. That's not gonna work because it's just not... Oh. Okay. Well, sure. <laughs> That's surprising as hell. It's not gonna work, though, because you know it's not. No chance. I am shocked.
What in the circus music? Oh! Alright! Give me that immediately. Oh! Oh, they hit hard as hell! Oh no! Let me do this. Of course you're not gonna let me. Are we serious? They have too much health. Are we serious? Yo. That's wild. Alright, going in. Breaking in. What's up, bitch? That's insane. Get him. Yo, no, 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 no. Not today, son. Let go. Uh. Okay, in what world did I just fire 17 rounds? No, no, no. How many? I just get one-shotted? No chance. Load that bad boy up. Come at me, bitch. Yeah, burn. Okay, come on. Oh, alright. Nice. I thought he was alive. Those guys, are, they feel a bit OP. Can't lie. They feel a tad bit OP. What in the hell? What in the witchcraft? No. Get off me. There's like three of them. No way. Yeah, they're a bit, they're a bit much. Right here. Let's drop in. Can we stop with the organs, please? Can we stop having organs? There's no reason that two shocker shells shouldn't do it. You know? What is this? Okay. I would like to close it now. What is happening? I cross right here? I guess I gotta go out that door, huh? Which, sorry, I genuinely don't have enough for them. Especially when they're hitting me through the door. Ah! Okay, okay. Nice, nice. Now we're below deck. Let me hit it with one of these. Can't. Probably an auto save right there.
What is going on here? Oh, whoa. Yo, oh, we're gonna wake up right now, huh? Use your shotgun, sir. Oh no! Thirty years ago, is this one of Jeremy's like therapy sessions? You're not making any uh, sense, Jeremy. Find hey. your focus. Hey, <laughs> I cheated everyone. I didn't play my part. Hey, I escaped hey. my doom. My destiny. Again, find hey. your focus. Hey, I'm right here. What the hell is going on? Oh, everything is wrong. Nothing is in play. Hey. I'm right here. Calm down, Mr. Conby. What do you want? Did... Jesus. Were you... Were you not talking to Jeremy right now? I haven't seen Jeremy all day. Are you all right, detective? Oh, no. No. Well, you do I enter Jeremy's actually, memories, huh? I don't think so. Well, maybe. I'm gonna go... look for Jeremy. Good. Let me know if you find him. Interesting. All right. That was Jeremy's self-deceit, a steamboat stuck in the mud? I'm not going to pretend I understand any of that. What a bunch of psychoanalytic nonsense. Okay, what was my objective again? Find the missing drawing inside McCarthy's room. I thought I did. Oh, right, the square of drawings. Got it. Is that not right? Maybe these guys? There we go. Huh? What? What? I don't know. You tell me there, David. Like a nightstand and a couch? I got it, we have to take a nap. I have a gun out with no more bullets. Uh, there's a green tint, which makes me think we are not in reality right now. This looks familiar. How am I back at the office? Jeremy's not. Oh yeah, here. load me up. Writing desk. Key. That's me. Oh, Isn't we're in our office. Oh. How long it been since I drowned myself in drinking depression? What is this? key item. My husband has returned to see one of your most valuable paintings. I'm sure he means to sell it. If you worry, I'm sure you could track him down. Gabriella Saunders, 1928. All felt so peaceful slipping away into oblivion. A welcoming dark voice wrapped around my mind like a heavy blanket. Edward I, I, woke up. I can't I leave my I own. I figure out where I'm going first. Oh! Got you, got you. Piece of crumpled paper. A crumpled newspaper clipping from December 23rd, 1928. Philanthropist Teddy Saunders goes mad and kidnaps child Theodore Saunders. Uh, that sucks. Ah. Evidence. Telegram. Right. Uh, hold on. Ten thousand dollar reward. Nineteen twenty-eight. That's a that's a chunk right there. Oh, hold on. Key item. Photograph. A photograph of a man. It is none of the men up here. It is Teddy Saunders. Mrs. Saunders says her husband has stolen a painting and means to sell it. Check out Thornhill. Goes mad. Kidnaps child. The little toy shop burglarized. Basin Street portrait. Uh, 
What is the code here? Like, what? So this matters. Okay, okay, I didn't see, I didn't realize I, I was trying to put kid. pieces together. Some kid got taken by her father, headed out of state. But he had made a mistake by what? selling a painting that his uh, wife actually oh. cared about to a collector named Thornhill to fund his venture. That's how I tracked him down. Am I still I in so. my office? Yes, right? My apartment, maybe? Whatever I'm in? Here we go. Ooh, outside. That's a lot of birdos. Hey guys, give me those bullets right now. Load up, load up the, the ammo that I need. Molotov right there, which makes me think that the birds are gonna attack me. Whoa. Okay, it's guiding me. All right, uh, into this alleyway, yes. What did we do? What's going on here? Maybe more ammo. I need so much ammo Bono right now. He wasn't a bad man, but he had principles keeping him from handing out information about his deals. So he needed some convincing. All right, going in. Oh, is this this is like a gallery? Well, every case can't be squeaky clean. Yeah, David. Why is there shotgun shells in the cash register? Ah, that almost makes sense to me, actually. Okay. Uh, more ammo over here. We are loading up for something. And health? Yeah, we're loading Mr. up. Mr. Saunders had sold a valuable painting to Thornhill, hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. The painting, now leaning on an easel in Thornhill's bedroom, had certain mesmerizing gloom that seemed to call out to me, telling me I was needed for something important. Hmm. I felt myself falling into the paint, only being brought back by Thornhill, thrusting an address to a Hotel St. George into my hand and asking me to get the hell out. All right. I don't remember this at all. Go to St. George Hotel by the park and break into the kidnapper's room. The hell? Ew, what? I can't get out. Did something spawn behind me? Oh. I was gonna melee him and then realized I did not have a melee weapon. I wish that I would have actually seen him burst through the door. I guess I was just looking the wrong way at the wrong time. Why? <laughs> Control to sneak. You would think that I would know that by now. Alright. Let's drop down. Alright, we don't need to fight them. That's why they're giving me that sneak option. So let's... Let's turn the flashlight off. Let's sneak. Excuse me, gentlemen. Need those bullets. Shut the fuck up. Those aren't bullets. That's a brick. Oh! Too late. No, it's not. Oh my. Yo. Okay. Okay. Our time is up. Our time is up. <laughs> go, go, go. Way too many, way too many. Into the, into the car we go. Shut it! Okay. Ooh, all right. 
health. Uh, okay, we're right here. We're on the other side. They can't get to me, correct? This rope is wild. Or this thread. Connecting the case. No, I get it. Oh. That was not what I wanted to do. What's going on right here? Is this a phone? Oh, no. It's a, I thought it was an old tiny phone. Candlestick. Oh! <gasps> It was me! In the parlor with the candlestick. How do I... How do I get over there? Alright. Right here. Sick. Oh, hold on. Can't get over the log, huh? Log's a bit too much for you. Alright. We are loading up. Hey, man. Is this On my me? way to the hotel, the Morton gang caught up with me. I owed them money, a lot of them. I can't remember what for. Probably some dumb gambling debt growing in size for each payment missed. I punched one of them out, and I sent the others packing. It was a stupid move. They'd be back. Yeah, that's unwise. Horse? Molotov even do? Jesus. <sighs> That's not me walking around, and it sounds like he's behind me. But, not my problem. More ammo? Yes? Alright. Ding. In we go. Curious napkin. Very curious indeed. Okay, right here. Hold on. Must ding. Ding. Bullets. I found it. In the hotel ledger, I recognized the handwriting of the signature. Ted Stryker. It was him. I could feel it. It was the kidnapper I was hunting. I put on my knuckles and hurried up to him. Ooh. Room. Going in. Tommy gun out. Something about Just that kidding. I can't walk up the stairs. Rings a bell. Feels vaguely familiar. Yes, but there's rats. Going up. Nothing can stop us now. I'm all the way up. There's nothing here. This room, but I... Business card. David Thornhill's with them here. business card. I must have followed them. But where? Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so I'm missing probably whatever's on the ground right here. No, not that. This. A page torn. Yes. Alright. Uh, to it, contact Mr. Reben, Mr. Robin, excuse me. Fifty dollars for the Kingsport painting. Let's do this. Uh, what does it matter if they're in order, really? That's right, he was running away, ditching his old life and marriage in New Orleans to find something better in Tallahassee. And he took his daughter just, with him just against now the will it, huh? of the mother. That's why she hired me. But I stopped him. 
I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. Oh, we're already here. Surprise, we're at the Pearl, Pearl River. River Bridge. This is where I caught up with him. This is what the Dark Man wanted me to revisit. But I'm still not seeing it. What am I forgetting? I don't know. You tell me, David. Do I get on this boat? Oh, I guess not. Going this way. Into the swamp covered in these spider webs? Or is that just how the tree is? I think it's just how the tree is. Thank God. I don't want to deal with giant spiders. Not a fan. Hatchet. Yes, just as I needed. A fresh axe for murdering. Can't go into the fog. Or across the bridge here. Oh. Or do I? Uh... I don't know. I think that's where I came from, so why would I cross? Yeah, let's, let's cross the bridge. Oh no. It was her all along. <gasps> Shoot her right in her stupid head! Oh. I'm not for child killing, just so we know. Just her. I can't believe I didn't recognize her. I looked a little mm. different back then, I suppose. Okay, I get any it. Of this real? She was the one that was How do you taken. Mean? This day just... So much is happening. I can't... I think I've lost my head. It's still there. Do Don't worry, Detective. Do you apologize? I mean... I am sorry. I don't think I need to begin to explain. You, you're just a kid, Grace. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. Lies. More lies. No, Yikes. really. I thought I was being a good guy by handing you over to your mother. I didn't know. I, I couldn't have known that she wouldn't care about you. I don't know how this works. What is this for? Some form of admission of guilt. Maybe acceptance. That's what the dark man wants. I guess we just watch my father die again then. You think he's alive? I know he is. He's down there, scared that he won't be able to get out. That he will drown with his daughter again. What are you saying? We gotta save him! We? Do it Wasn't yourself. The past, I'm down there so it with already you, happened. Remember? What the hell is going on? Can I really save them? So oh. there must be a way to save you both, right? Why else would I be here? Maybe the dark man just likes it when you suffer. That makes sense. There was a boat at the house where I entered. If I can raise the bridge, I should be able to get to the car. Or just jump down. What are we talking about here? The control house must be up here somewhere, right? No way to raise the bridge? Uh huh? Let me guess, it's not gonna be that easy, is it? It's this not gonna work. The bridge is because up. why would it? I am What's happening. Ah, like something's holding. Me. It's like it's like it could be whatever the hell that is that's glitching the fuck out. Uh. Yeah, maybe it's that. Maybe it's this fucking ooze. Ah, no, I see, I see. Get off of there, you bastard! You stupid snake! Get off of there! Where'd you go? You ain't shit. Oh, 
I'm fighting off the snake vines. Get off me, nerd. Get off me. Oh. Is that a double? Oh, I'm insane. Here we go. Oh, we're gonna... I thought we were gonna slide down or something. Jesus. Try now? Or is it already lifted? Let me get a new axe here. Can I? I am not stuck again! Okay, no. I'm going down. What is that? Oh, these fuckers. And I just ran right into it, because why not? I'm out. Deuces. I don't gotta fight you, dog. Let's save this dead guy. getting pulled in. I was just taking a bath. Don't leave me alone. What the hell have you been doing? What's going on here? Look at this mess! I will uh, shoot you uh, right in I'm the brain. I'm sorry, Mrs. Thompson. Don't make me kick you out of this house! Now get out! I'll shoot you. Hey, Detective. Mr. Carnby. I'm really worried about you. I'm okay. I just need to catch my breath for a moment. This place? What the hell was that? There are some very disturbed figures around here. And I don't think it's just the patients. I've been reading some things about how Dorsetto has a deranging effect on people. I think it might explain... things. What? Just take it easy, okay? I'm gonna go find a way into Dr. Gray's apartment. I want to know what he's hiding. His Emily? apartment? Don't worry. I think I'm close. I'm gonna set everything right. Just be careful. Oh, that looks wild out there. Okay. Why is she... All right, would pay Dr. Gray a visit in his apartment. What is his apartment? Can't they had run their car. Oh, Dr. Gray's apartment. When the fuck did that get there? That's not been there. Oh no, this is where the door was. Okay, I got you, I got you. Do not disturb, I'm coming in. Better Detective. not be having sex. Am I glad to see you? Love we just talked you. like I don't 30 think seconds Gray ago. Appreciate us snooping around. What's going on here? This feels so strange. Yes, it does. Oh, I don't like this. There's a book missing. Okay, problem solved. It's not that one. Oh, I guess it is. What did you do? I was just rearranging the books. 
Well, come on, let's check it out. Let's. Was he a fucking e evil scientist? Why was this? I think Why I did they suddenly change to this view? Doctor Gray is dealing with some kind of mass delusion. Yeah, he's burning the carpet. Is what he's doing. Am I in control again? That mark on the floor. Good to finally oh. meet you, Mr. Hartwood. I'm here on the behalf of your brother Philip. You were expecting me, weren't you? Yes, you're from Deserto, no? Dr. Gray says, that's right. I just wanted to ask you a few questions to see if there's anything I could do to help you and your family. Jeremy says, okay. Dr. Gray, I understand you're full of imagination. You make up a lot of things. Jeremy, I suppose, and you obsess over them, blurring reality and fictions. Sometimes. Do you want me to tell you about the Dark Man? No, no, I don't. That's all right. Perhaps there is something else you can tell me. Something you know to be made up you hold dear. Juan? John. Who's John? Juan. John. No, Juan Luis Jorge. Wait a moment. Jeremy fetches me a book. Here, take a look. Is he... Oh, he's the author. It's a magnificent book, life-changing even. The real Juan is long dead, but I like to think of him as my friend, my most beloved friend. I see. Do you often do this? Fantasize about people you read about? No. Well, there is Jacob. Who's Jacob? Turn to the last page, doctor. Oh, it's a newspaper article. The Prisoner of Ice. Jacob Van Ostade. Something like that. Is he your beloved friend? Oh, no, Doctor. Not at all. He's the fire that fights fire. Yes, I think it's clear your overstimulated imagination. This mania needs to be tempered for you to live a, a normal life. I know your family calls it the Heartwood Curse, but I want you to know there's nothing supernatural about your condition. It's all inside your head, and with that, I'm very qualified to deal with. In time, you will be cured. In time. In time. It's in time. We will exercise all your demons, all the dark men. Jeremy screams. Please, Doctor or Mr. Hartwood, calm yourself. Jeremy screams and alerted his niece. What happened? Oh, don't you worry your little head about it, Miss Hartwood. Your uncle and I just had our first breakthrough. The talisman positions. But from which direction should I look at it? I can't move. What were you saying about mass oh. delusion? Dorsetto seems to have a deranging effect on people living close by. It has a history of creating cults devoted to some nature goddess. Even the name Dorsetto refers to the cult existing here before the Civil War. Dorsetto was the name of an ancient fertility goddess worshipped in Syria. Dr. Gray and his friends, however, seem to prefer... the black goat of the woods with a thousand young or shubby. Oh my... And that name Let's be careful with that name. ...from my uncle's twisted mind. Uh, anything over here? Wardrobe. Locked closet. No, not the closet. I want to go right here. Snake, snake dagger. dagger. In Lugwood Prince's book on pagan rituals called The Mystery of the Grave, as translated by Nicholas Vachi, there are several references to a sacrificial dagger called the snake dagger. That's the one that I got, right? It has long been thought of as, thought of as a poor translation of the original text that it would be more appropriate with worm dagger from the Latin... Vermis Cultrum. This seems natural following the recent consensus that the original title of Prynne's book, De Vermis Mysterious, should literally should literally translate to the mystery of the worm. However, this would take away Fabacci's great effort at translating the underlying meaning of the words and revealing several cultural beliefs. While Prynne certainly was using the term worm as a symbol of synodoche for death as synodoc and the dead, which is made clearly by the contents of the book, in this case of the dagger, we shouldn't be too hasty to dismiss the translation. Read through correspondence with his patron. It appears that he had more than just the Latin text at his disposal. Vachi had dug up Prince living relatives and uncovered several cross-referenced historical texts in an actual snake dagger. The dagger was dated to the early Middle Kingdom of Egypt and is such a clear shape of a wave that Vachi considered calling it the sinusoidal blade. Knowing the full story, it seems prudent that he, choose, that he chose to translate it as snake and not worm. There are several reasons why this choice of word helps us understand the pagans that Prince book attempts to describe. The symbolic virtue of this... Yeah, I'm, I'm done. The snake dagger is therefore not only a good way to describe its form, but it also helps us understand how it could be thought of as a useful tool for exorcism. Finally, it also helps us understand the relationship to lunacy. That it was thought of as something poisoning the mind rather than controlling it. What is also interesting to note is that the possessed are always considered poisoned in their head and not their heart. The snake dagger always went through the eye of the possessed, leaving them partially blind if they had the good luck to survive. Oh, what is happening? 
Okay, right here. There we go. Huh. I was up in there this Got whole the key time. for this over here. This is such a weird choice to make it... Also, it's not a very smooth transition when we enter rooms. The, the buttons don't change fast. You're, like, still on the previous room's buttons when you enter new ones. There we go. Sick. I found literally nothing. Don't worry, I got it. Hello? The death it can't be. Who is this? Jeremy? Jeremy is with the Dark Man. You can't save him. Well, I've done everything he wanted so far, and there's just one more thing on the list. I expect him to keep his promise and return Jeremy unharmed. Get out, detective. While you still can. Uh... Okay. Investigate the broken clock. Why not? Uh... What piece of information... Ah... Hold on. Just kidding, it's just a... Oh... But then being... We need to find out what that symbol... Hold on. Is a chest at a bedside, and then the thing out here. You okay? So cutscene. You look a little frazzled. Why is that green now? Just stupid telephone. I know. I tried calling the police earlier. The telephone is completely dead. It's not. Uh, yeah, there's a no, mine the shaft in the wardrobe. Guys, the mine shaft in the wardrobe. What in the what in the hell? Miss Hartwood, I think you're gonna want to see this. Is there something in the closet? No, yeah, there is. You don't see the very obvious gate leading to whatever Jeremy's madness is serving up next? I don't understand. Are you making some kind of fashion metaphor? Yes. I'm sorry, I don't have He time dresses for this. Can you just rather tell odd. Me what you're doing? You don't see this. It's fine. It's fine. Catch you later. Are you going inside the closet? Yeah. Watch me. You got a problem with that? No. Do what you think is right, detective. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I did. Goodbye, Miss Harwood. I'm not crazy, Miss Harwood. I'm entering the closet. It is full of... I'm gonna go with snow. Because I don't want to believe that it's ash. Yes, I believe it's snow. Right here. Give me... I have more bullets than that. Didn't I just load the hill up? Let's go show, but then I fought some bats and stuff. Uh... We're going to be outside that temple somehow, huh? Uh, yes. Give me that. That's a flare gun. Uh-huh. And flares. Our flares... Oh, okay, I got you. Hold one to switch. Okay, that's fair. I'm full on flares. Uh, I guess we'll... Do I explore this ship more? Okay, 
Yeah, it didn't actually help me do anything. There's something over here, though. Keep going. Aye, aye, Captain. I will never stop. Uh... Is this not water? Oh, it's kind of a weird look to it. All right. Over here. What in the Skyrim? Ooh, the Aurora Borealis. This is like, it's literally climbing to go meet the, what were they called, the Greybeards? Investigate the ruins. Yeah, I plan to. Who is that? Don't give him the opportunity. Oh. Oh no. Hey you! What are you doing here? It's gonna be. What is this place? Me? Is oh no, it's just. Detective? What's going on with You're your face there, bud? Here. Whoa, take it easy. I'm not your enemy. Oh, you're wrong, detective. You're wrong. Uh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Oh. Okay. My bad. What? Jacob Von... Oh, he's the guy I just read about. Jacob Von Astate, or would... The guy in the book that uh, Jeremy was talking about, right? Whoa. What the hell do you mean align the stars, Holmes? Stars aligned, Jeremy, or ah, maybe that is what you need to temper that mania. Of yours. Hold on. Right there. Hold on. Okay, so I can move the whole thing. To align with what? What's going on there? some work done. Shot and kite you around this whole bitch. What's up, Holmes? 
Think you're something? You think you're nice? I'm literally better. That's just how it is. I'm better. I'm all out of bullets. That's how it is, dog. I'm better. It's like that Gandalf scene. This is cool, actually. Got it. No, I get it. We're patients, huh? We're a patient here. It's like uh, Shutter Island. Spoiler alert. for the rest of the night. <laughs> Come on out and join us, will you? I'll save you some gumbo. Good to have you back. You gave us all a good scare. Oh, man. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Sorry for manhandling you, but you're being violent. You stabbed Jeremy and then punched Dr. Gray. Are they... okay? Jeremy's a little strange, but everything's back to normal. Really? All thanks to you, combat. You want to try standing up? Well, if it isn't the hero of the day. How are you feeling, detective? Never better. How about you two? Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? Things are fine. Very quiet. I gave him a lobotomy. What's up with him? Painkillers? No. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher, you managed to lobotomize, dear Jeremy. I did what? It's actually quite impressive. It's not like I hadn't considered it myself. I just wish Jeremy could have been helped without reducing his personality to that of an oyster. But... He's gonna live. Of course. As long as someone keeps feeding him, he'll outlive the best of us. Whoa. What is- this is the festival they were talking about, huh? What's up, lady? Good to see you back on your feet, Detective. Have some gumbo. She Thanks. didn't like us. I'll save it for later. That's just my character, huh? I'm convinced. I don't actually... I'm not... I'm a patient. This is just, uh... What do you mean? Hold on. Objective. Everything Go back, back to New Orleans with Jerem. Sure. Guess we're waiting. Everyone knows what to do? 
Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, you need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. Hell, there are praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever Hear there us, us and the and black goat of the woods. Take pity on us. Hear us, brother. And take pity on us. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Oh shit. Oh. Jeremy, come with me. Get over here. Jeremy, come with me. Jeremy, come here. What just took him? The tree? No! There has to be another one! Just let it burn down. Yo, no way. What in the fuck? Just stop the black goat in the woods? No! That's something for the fucking that authorities to do. Shadow. I have to stop it. No, that that's for the military, not me. Oh, there are bullets back there. No. Oh. What the hell is going on? Okay, we gotta shoot the weak spot. This is not... This is wild and very unexpected. Reload. Oh, okay. Oh my god. They didn't hit it. There we go. Okay. This is very, very unexpected. I don't know, kill it. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Burn the tree. This is so unexpected, it's insane. I'm out of bullets. Is he dead? Holy shit. You just killed a living tree. I try to tell you. Oh, small text. There was so much evidence. Their devotion to the black goat was like nothing I've ever seen before. I felt so dumb believing any of it, but I'm glad I did. Are you okay? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. How are you doing, sweetie? I kinda like it. You ruined everything, but I'm not mad. Cool. You were being hung, and I ruined everything. Yeah, I'm the bad right, guy. Are you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. We're leaving. Can I come? I thought you said you didn't need saving. Shoot Grace Don't in the leave. brain. She's important. Of course we're taking her with us. Of course. Yeah. I 
I mean, I could have sworn I would have put money down that we were a patient at this place. Uh, after chapter four, I would have put money down. That was, um, very un unexpected. Hey! I mean, I had a great time playing that. It's actually really good. I am curious if Claire's story is an entirely different thing or it's the same. I don't know. Maybe I'll find out. I'll find out through video, but I'm saying maybe I'll find out by playing. I don't know. But um, that was great. I, I recommend giving that a chance. Until next time, guys. Later.